Hey, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> uh, this is Future Niels in editing process right now. I failed to mention that this process is working for the augmented reality template, for the virtual reality template and for the mobile template at all. Like for the first person, the top down, the third person mobile template. It works for all of those mobile templates in Android, not for iOS, but in Android. So now that I cleared that, uh, I can release you to the video and hopefully save you some time. Good luck. So the other day I had major trouble setting up the mobile development and especially the augmented reality setup on Unreal Engine 4.27 and Unreal Engine 5. And for this reason I decided to make a quick video just to show my findings and potentially help out someone else who has the same problems as I do because there are a lot of quirks and, and tricks that you have to jump through some hoops that you have to jump through in order to make this all work. So this all works on 4.27.2 and on Unreal Engine 5, as you can see right here. There is an official documentation somewhere around here and it gets you a lot of ways, but it really does not cover everything. Like not at all, <laughs> you get the basics done, but let's just jump right into it. Of course, every link that you see will be uh, added in the description. No problem at all. Uh, starting with this one here, and there's a lot of things that you need to download. I'm just assuming that you have a clean slate and never did anything Android based before. And we're just gonna go click through all of those links. And first of, first of all, you have to download Android Studio 4.0. This link is right here. It's opened up uh, on, on this tab and you just go down and look for Android Studio 4.0. You download it. Then you open it up and it takes you to the, through the install process. It is very important that you keep it at the default location. Makes sense. Um, just if, when it when it suggests you any file path, do yourself the favor and just install it on a default location. Just make it happen. <laughs> make it happen. Uh, next, download Java 18, the, the, the SE Developer Kit 18 and the JRE Kit uh, 8 right here you uh, per default you're set to linux go to windows make sure you, you're setting it to windows download it install it the same with here you're basically set on windows when uh, on linux windows download the 64 installer and install it so now you got android and java you need the G jdks and the jres that's all very important next one you really want to install uh, visual studio 2019 is ideally you can go with 2022 2022 but uh, usually it works with 2019 and visual studio visual studio installer 2019 you, you can find it it's it's uh free anyways i think you have to log in into microsoft Conto and that's that's all you get but it's free of course if you take the community and just download it and you are seeing a lot of options here when you first install it and you really want to make sure that you scroll down and make a check mark at game development with C++ and mobile development with C++. It's going to take you around like 11 gigs to install and make sure that you always hit Unreal Engine installer, right? Then just install it. And when you have all of that stuff, when you have Android Studio 4.0 and you have your JDK Java thing and you have your uh, installment of Visual Studio. Next step, which is quite crucial, actually is downloading .NET Cores. Uh, the 5.0, I'm gonna link this one here as well. You just download it, it's like a five megabyte download and installs automatically and then it just lives on your system. It doesn't really do anything, you don't have to do anything, it just installs. Same goes for the 3.1 runtime, downloads the 64 or 86, depending on your system. Uh, download the run desktop apps and run console apps. Both of them just download it. Same with 5.0, it just installs in like a minute or so and, it's, and you don't have to think about it again. But it is important that you have 5.0 and 5.0 and 3.1. And that's it really for the basic setup. Now you got all the links that you need. You got Android Studio, you got Java, you got Visual Studio, and you got your .NET stuff. All of that before even opening Unreal Engine. Just make sure Unreal Engine is closed. Don't, don't even bother with it. 
because first of all, we're going into Android Studio. So I've assumed that you installed everything in its default location. Configure SDK Manager. And this is where it gets finicky. This is what, what took a lot of time to figure out. So you wanna make a couple of check marks. Again, we go to Configure SDK Manager. SDK platforms, you can see it's the 17th of April, 2022. Um, so as of this day, these are the settings that worked for sure. I, I confirmed it with a couple of devices. Android API 32, install Android 10 and Android 10 plus, install. Trigger, uh, you just hit the check mark and then you say apply and then it gives you a little pop-up of, okay, it's gonna download something or hey, I can hit apply again, just apply and everything. At the end we're clicking okay, but for now just apply. SDK tools, all right, there we have it. So you wanna make sure that you have Android SDK command line installed, like everything is installed. And we click on show package details and this one is an important one as well. So per default, the build tool, it downloads you the 33.0, the latest. It will always install you the latest. Don't, don't, <laughs> trust me, do not. <laughs> Uh, install 28.0.3. This one works perfectly fine. This one is the one that you want to check. You can go 29.0.2 if you want to. This is okay as well, but this one has to be checked and this one can be checked, but those ones are not allowed to be checked. I have, don't ask me why. It just took a couple of hours and a lot of internet research and Japanese forums <laughs> to tell me that this one is the one you want to have. 28.0.3, all right, check it, apply, 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 apply. Scroll down to your NDKs. This one is, uh, this one is important as well. So on the setting up SDK and NDK website, there is how to set up Android NDK. This is cool and everything and sure it's, it's neat, but we're gonna skip that step because it is inherently flawed and there's a lot of things going wrong and we'll, I'll just save you a lot of troubles the other way around because it will download the 21.4 install and this doesn't work either, right? So make sure you deselect everything and download the 21.1.6352462, right? This exact one, this exact one. Apply, 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 and install, install, install. By the way, uh, you wanna remember this one. You want, want to remember where this SDK is installed because it's going to be uh, quite important. Because when we have installed the SDK and the NDK and the command line tools, the latest command line tools, then uh, let's go with a CMake. Don't know if this makes any difference, but sure, there you go. Then we're going to open up uh, Unreal Engine. I already opened it up just to confirm that it's working on 5.0 with the top-down uh, with the top-down setup. It works with the augmented reality setup as well with the top shutdown with the first-person shooter so mobile development works with all of this uh, with all of those steps. So you have just opened up your uh, this is the top-down shooter I think or the, the top-down template set to mobile. So I have changed literally nothing, right? So I've just opened it up and compiled it once because it takes a long time to compile the first time and I didn't wanna set you through the paces. Okay, we have opened it up for uh, Android. This is the, the Android's default settings. We're gonna open up edit, project settings, go way down Android and this is what we're gonna do. You have a couple of settings here that says configure now, for instance, make it go green, configure now, make it go green. This will help you, not help you, but enable you to package all of that stuff and not just preview it on uh, on your phone. So you click those, make it, make it go green. So it's beautiful and everything. It's beautiful and everything. You wanna name something, you wanna name that to uh, a name, your company name, and the project name, which is UE5 tryout underscore two. Perfect. Uh, the target SDK version is the one that we downloaded here, and the target SDK version was 28. Uh, so minimum, we can set that to minimum 28 as well if we want to. Minimum target SDK is uh, that will be installed. 
we go further further down this is all we have to do in here so if you can make those settings oh it is cool to uh package game data inside apk this is just uh, nice to have this we're not going to go over any uh, output settings but this is just a nice to have android sdk down here and this is where it gets interesting because per default android probably has android unreal engine probably has a problem finding your sdks and we're gonna fix that remember when i said remember this line up here yeah that's exactly where we're gonna put it now we just copy it out here and say where is your sdk my sdk is where i put it that is my SDK folder. Perfect. We're going to take that. Where is your NDK? Your NDK is inside your SDK folder. There you go. So your SD in your SDK, there is an NDK folder. You want to check that. That's where it is. That is your NDK folder. So your Android, your Android JRE or JDK is somewhere else. You would think that you need to go to the location of Java uh which it actually says but if you go to the location of java and don't jdk uh it doesn't let you it's it's it says flawed <laughs> you get a lot of errors then and so just don't go look for c program files let's let's just navigate through it let's just navigate so c programs so there's the one with the 86 and then there's always the one with the non-86 then you would go to Android, Android Studio, and then here someone is called JRE. You wanna have that. Copy it, paste it in here, right? That's what you wanna do. SDK API level. You can set it to 31 if you want to, or 32, depending on what you have installed, but uh, to be, just to make sure, go for latest. Say latest and it's, it's fine. Android NDK API level is 21. Why is it 21? SDK manager, SDK tool, because we said that our NDK is 21. So that's why we put it on SD Android 21. If you have all of that, that's great. That means that essentially you have the settings that you need for exporting everything. So on Android and uh, on Unreal side, everything should be fine now. Okay, going over how to configure your phone is something a bit different because that's different depending on what Android phone you have, right? Like, so you go into the settings and then there's this, this build number or it's it's called build number. I can, sh I can tell you what it's in if you happen to be German. I think my phone is set to German. <laughs> you can developer options. No, it's not developer options. It's about phone software information and then there is the build number and yes it's, it's still called build number click seven times on the build number the developer options are activated go back to your settings developer options should have shown up click usb debugging that's right this this one right here and enable it and then plug in your phone as well it says uh, if you don't have the right USB drivers, you probably should have. If not, here are the links for it. But per default, it should work, except for if you have done some weird kinky stuff with your phone. So now we recap, we installed all, ooh, we did not open Spotify, but we installed all of the Java, all of the Android, all of the .NET and Visual Studios and we made the right options here in Unreal Engine, which means we are ready to deploy. And in Unreal Engine 4.27, it was a bit different than here, but right here it is under platforms. Uh, you can see a device manager. If, see, my phone is not even connected because I got, I got bad connection on my phone. Let's plug it back in and wait until my phone is showing up. Wait until my phone is showing up. Wait until my phone is showing up. Oh, it made something. Yes, that's my phone. Perfect. My phone is here, which means I can on Android. I, I see my phone and I can, uh, I can update it. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes when you go here on the uh, Android and package project or cook content or whatever, it says that you are in, SDKs and auto SDKs and NDKs are not here. That should have 
you downloading the, the .NET should have fixed the problem, but sometimes when you click on your phone, it says update device. And if you do, installing SDK update, there you go. You have to do it basically all the time when you connect your phone. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit annoying, but then it works. Then it works. So just click on your phone or click here on, on, on your phone and it is launching, building. The first time you do it, it takes a while. Uh, especially, where is it? There's this cooking part. Yeah, yeah cooked package, 3,200, pa uh, 300 packages. This takes a while. Don't be fooled, it takes a while. When you're at this step, right, let's, let's go. Sometimes it says it's trying to find your phone. God, somebody clean it up. Somebody clean it up, but essentially I'm just showing you that it's working right now. So if uh, if you did all of those steps and, and uh, you come this far in this tutorial, then goodbye. I hope I I could help you some uh, with something. Oh, you can hear my computer ramping up. Oh yeah, if you're here and it does this one, you missed it. Yeah, then you missed it. If you if you if you can see this one, <laughs> then that, that means that you should have. Uh, should have accepted something on your phone. So keep your phone display on uh, always in, in, in your side. So, okay, I got the game running right here. I can make a, a screen recording and this completes the tutorial. I know it's a lot spe more specific than you would think, but just take a scroll around in the internet and you will see that there's a lot of hate going on <laughs> because of the Android development in Android Engine. It is a pain. It is a pain, but uh, it works. Uh, so this uh, this shows it works on Unreal Engine 5, works for 4.2, 7.2. So go at it, have fun, and I really hope that I could help you and save you some time.